Now I'm going to focus on dermatology USMLE associated diseases. So dermatology is I'm just going to focus on the high yield concept which gonna be appear in our exam. So these are the associated diseases. Okay, let's review. Acanthosis nigricans. The associated disease uh, is polycystic ovarian syndrome, insulin resistance, gastrointestinal malignancy. So these two are associated with acanthosis nigricans. Multiple skin tags, insulin resistance, is there pregnancy and Crohn disease perianal now hepatitis C these are the skin uh, condition which are associated with hepatitis C are porphyria cutanea tarda cutaneous leukos, uh, leukocytoclastic vasculitis palpable purpura secondary to cryoglobulinemia and lichen planus Celiac disease is dermatitis herpetiformis. HIV, sudden onset, severe psoriasis, recurrent herpes, zoster, disseminated molluscum condagiosum. Now HIV and Parkinson disease, severe sovoric dermatitis. Okay. Now explosive onset of multiple itchy sporic keratosis. Think about. GI malignancy, IBD, pyoderma gangrenosum, and vitiligo. It is autoimmune problem. So think about autoimmune, celiac disease, pernicious anemia, autoimmune thyroid disease, type one diabetes mellitus, primary adrenal insufficiency, hypopituitarism, and alopecia areata. So just review one or three times. It will be remembered in your brain forever. So just review it again one more time. Pemphigus vulgaris. The important points uh, and uh, the key points about Pemphigus vulgaris is P for painful and it involves mucosal surface. So oral lesions are there. So let me read from the starting intercellular spaces of the epidermal cells, relatively thin and fragile. Nicole's key sign is positive. P for pemphigus, P for painful. Oral lesions are there. As compared to bolus pemphigoid, no oral lesions. Blisters is relatively deep and the bullae are thicker, warped and much less likely to rupture. Okay, morbilliform rash, typically type of drug reaction, the rash resembles measles. So M4 measles, M4 uh, morbilliform rash. Erythema multiform. So the important high high point uh, high yield points are just remember the drugs, penicillin, phenytoin, NSAIDs, sulfur drugs, infection with herpes simplex or my my mycoplasma. This condition present with target like lesions. Palms and soles are also involved. Now, actinic keratosis is associated with or pre -can cancerous to squamous cell carcinoma. Pemphigus foliaceous. foliaceous is drug induced by angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, captopril and alapril or NSAIDs. Erythema nodosum is secondary to recent infections or inflammatory conditions. It is painful on the shin. So just remember Erythema nodosum is painful. What are the painful behind? Pemphigus is painful. Erythema nodosum is painful. Erythema nodosum, so pregnancy, recent streptococcal infection, cocci, dio, diodomycosis, histoplasmosis, sarcoidosis, 
inflammatory bowel disease these are the di diseases and the problems or conditions can have uh, erythema nodosa or secondary to these conditions steven johnson the drugs are penicillin sulfa drugs and sets phenytoin and phenobarbital anti convulsion so top 10 is toxic epidermal necrolysis of skin easily slough off body surface area is 30% the cold case sign is positive okay std primary secondary syphilis p for pain less not painful primary is painless shanker and secondary syphilis is pons and sores are involvement remember pons and sores involvement where we just seen pons and sores also involved let's go back think about erythema multiform pons and sores are also involved syphilis which is also involved but in the case of uh, erythema multiform what would we see target like lesion okay now toxic shock syndrome the clues are the case uh, scenario will be i'm talking about nasal packing tampons now the nicole nikolski sign is positive in four skin disorders pemphigus vulgaris Steven Johnson toxic epidermal necrolysis staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome so it is taken by my blog medicine mbbs blogspot.com okay now seborrheic keratosis as for stuck on appearance as for seborrheic keratosis so you remember the first associated problems severe seborrheic dermatitis associated with hiv and parkinson disease so seborrheic keratosis stuck on appearance kaposi sarcoma is a p for purplish lesion and hiv which is in hiv cd4 count will be less than 100 contact dermatitis key point is poison ev contact with poison ev pitaria is rosia is p4 patch to remember just i put that bold herald patch r for herald patch like a christmas tree on the trunk back okay acne treatment severe cystic acne we have to for the cystic acne we use oral antibiotics oral iso 39 okay oral iso 39 strong teratogens it is strong teratogen so we have to check for urine pregnancy test and make sure that uh, the pregnant woman is taking o ocp or a contraceptive pills now drug anti fungal drug there the toxicity is hepato toxicity so tell me not think about so what we have to check check for liver function test so this is important i just highlighted few uh, major diseases and their association and uh, scandal scandry um, related conditions so and uh, two drugs which is important for the exam i hope you like my video and i'm going to subscribe for more so i will make more videos related to our usml exam thank you i hope you like our presentation please subscribe for more